Uh, Mr. Hamburg, today at lunch we talked about how Aldi has condensed the four corner buttons down mm -hmm. to two. Um, can you speak to that and how that poses a challenge of condensing down the UI as well? And walk us through some of those examples. Okay. So thank you for the question because it's a core part of the new MMI structure. What we did is not a condensation, but we took out all the things that were not relevant in the in the current situation of the driver uh, from the operating point of view. So, for example, how it, it works. Let me see. Let me show you here in the media. Uh, you have the, the list of the the titles you can hear here, and now. What do you need? Maybe you want to change your title. You can do with our search functionality, what I showed before. So in this case, you're using the script technology yes. provided. A lot of, a lot of tech. Uh, no. A lot of our user interface is based on the handwriting recognition. That's something that's now the, the center part and with the search engine behind that you feed with your, your characters you enter here, you find most of the things you want. Some additional functions, what you do not find here. Uh, so it's for example, why you're doing that, does the car speak? The the car, yes, the car speaks. It's too, too too noisy here that you cannot hear, but it, it could increase that. So sorry, let's do that. <laughs> you cut it out afterwards. But I, I've noticed uh, just a quick segue. Everything's in three D, three dimensional. Is that something that's new to this MMI system or this new operating system in the graphical user interface? Uh, so, sorry, can you repeat? Okay, so I've uh, noticed everything's in three dimensional. Yes. Is that something that's new to this operating yes, system? Yes, this is new. And now we come back to your. Uh, initial question okay. about the two corners sure, sure. about the two buttons here and again so if you're in the title list here if you want to change the uh, the source of your media from the jukebox to your SD card for example you press the left one ah. and so and you, here now you can see the three dimensionality you have the title in the back it moves in the back it grays a little bit out and then you have the two rings here where you can see where you can change from the SD card to the jukebox, for example. And then it closes it again. Are you able and that to still use this I, and I can do Yes, I can do it here the same. Open it, change to the SD card, for example, swaps, then I close it again, and now the title list of the SD card. So this is to be done on the one hand, change sources, on, on the right uh, side, the right button, is something you know from your PC as the right mouse button. Mm -hmm. You get the context relevant options. And not everything, only the ones that are available for that context. And so you could drill it down because you get rid of all these options that are not applicable in this situation. Gotcha. And this was the reason why we could make it smaller and, yeah more condensed without losing functions. Well, thank you so much for your time. <laughs> yeah, quick introduction to the to the TT interior. The first thing what we started to do is like we 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 came very very early to this Audi virtual cockpit, which means that you have now the uh, the steering wheel, the screen, the road, it's all on one axis. So you really can focus on the street, focus on driving. You don't have to look somewhere else. Or, or go away with your hand. So that's one thing and one big advantage that we that we put the screen and the combi, put it together, combined it and put it right in front of the of the driver. Also we, we tried to make the whole interior more more simple, more iconic. That's why we also took the, the air condition control and put it directly inside the vents. So now you can you can really use the air condition the controls and you get a direct feedback uh, fr from the vents directly and that makes the whole interior, the whole layout more um, more easy, more uh, more clean so you really, as you can see the dashboard is really like a wing it's quite quite horizontal, it's quite quite clean 
um, it's less busy because there are less elements um, than you have usually in other cars. And and this we tried to get in all the interior design. We kept all the all the lines quite quite clean, quite simple. Because in the end it's a sports car, you want to focus on driving. You want to, you don't want to be distracted by too much buttons, too much uh, stuff going on in the interior. And that was the main focus in 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 the architectural design. So what about the passenger? How would I control music or you still do, do I have access to yeah, if I course, wanted to control You still can the radio. control music. You have like the, the volume button, you can skip uh, radio. Um, I just don't have the visual. I can't really see what I'm controlling. You, you right, can so. see partly from 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 this side. So mm -hmm. if you if you if you are in the in the radio mode, so you can see uh, what you're doing. You can see the, the the radio stations if you want to 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 skip it. But of course, for us, the TT is a it's a driver's it's car. It's a driver's car. It's a, yes. it's a, the driver is the focus, and uh, as you're a co-driver, you're more like. Um, enjoying the drive and, and stuff like that and on the other hand a lot of people are having everything on the iPhone uh, right now right? Exactly. so you, you want the email you want to check out the weather you just have your iPhone I check it there you don't need to check it there inside the um, the car but for radio controls that's why we all also put it there on this side mm -hmm. so radio media all those things are still on the on the co-driver side on the passenger side because because the driver again has it all in the steering wheel now, so I, um, as a driver, I can control it everything from here, the whole entertainment. But as a passenger, you still have some controls on your side of the car. Is there a rear view camera as well when you're backing up? Uh, there should be. And then they will show up on the display here when you're backing up, if there is one. Should be some here. Yeah. I mean, as, as, you, as you can see now, the, there's, oh, there are sensors. there's a, the sensors are activated. Gotcha. Um, I don't know if there's a, a camera as well, but but the sensors are there. So as soon as you have, so every, all the functionality you had here mm -hmm. is now here combined with a with a um, um, with a combi uh, instrument cluster. Very good. Thank you so much. And then this is this the gesture as well, similar to the the A3. Can you gesture? Yeah, this is gesture. Text this as is, well. Uh, this is also touch, uh, touchpad. Mm -hmm. So this is special. That's why we didn't put it here because I think it's better to use it here for the when you want the characters for Asian market, for right, example, right. Uh, Japanese, Chinese. We saw that on the A3. You, you need this, and uh, and that's the perfect position for that. That's why we also kept it here. But it's again um, a development also from the what you know from the TT. So we reduced buttons. As you see, we only have two instead of four now. So it's it's much easier to use because once you, you use tension uh, surfaces and once you use the, the left or the right button, you can see the contents are moving in like from left or right side. You don't have four buttons and four corners. What, where you have to look at is it the left button, is it the left upper, is it the right upper button? So you just have two buttons on the side. Also, again, something we simplified for the for the car and for the user interface. Is this the first time where you've integrated um, the information into the knob within the uh, vents itself? I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's a, it's the first time, especially putting the the knobs inside and putting displays inside the knobs which was a, a great challenge for us but also for of course the technical departments because <laughs> you still need to get air out of it you, right. you still have to get the function you need the function to to turn your air to make to close it that all you have to to fulfill plus the uh, the, the integration of the of the functional parts without getting too big and that was a big challenge but uh, I think in the end it, it works excellent I love it <laughs> and it's cool that you really have a, it's all very clean and very light so we, we we made the dashboard very light the whole section is like a little bit concave so you really can can feel the light light dashboard um, and the room what was left we used of course for for having storage and and for making nice details like these 3d switches it's very tactile, um, so you're actually feeling what you're yeah. what you're clicking on, and it's very very kind of sporty also in a way, you know? mm -hmm. very 3D modeled and, and very um, 
manufactured. Is this a cup holder? It's a cup holder. This is just for the smokers, you know. Gotcha. You know, you from take other cars, this is smokers pick. Well, even though it's a sports car, you gave uh, you gave the driver one cup holder for coffee or whatever he wants to yeah, drink. Yeah, you need. You need it, <laughs> especially for US, but also for other markets. It's getting more and more important, and also for the keys, huh? Yeah, yeah. Because oh, well, I see that. Yeah. You need something for putting your keys. That's genius. That's a good place for the for keys. Put, yeah, because first thing is you, you enter the car and think oh, where I put my keys. And Don't you, you normally keep it in your pocket? Scratch it and Do you normally keep it in your pocket though? If it's keyless, wireless? You can keep it in your pocket, of course. But habit-wise, you, you like kind of they, find... They, they, take it, they, have, they want to take it out and put it somewhere. So you have a, you have a place where it perfectly fits. Genius. And uh, so you... It was important that to, 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 to find a space for that. And of course you have a, another storage, another cup holder, which can be also folded in some directions so you get a lot of function even if it's a small sports car you get a lot of it feels like a, it's and, it's and like a little i mean it's like being in a, a jet almost you're very snugged in and it mm. feels very secure yeah. all right thank you so much for your time you're welcome